Hey there, history buffs and mystery aficionados. Welcome back to Nerd by Nature, where we dive deep into the annals of history to uncover the bizarre, the baffling, and sometimes the downright hilarious. Today, we're time traveling to the early 17th century to unravel the curious case of the Pendle Witch Trials. So grab your cloaks and cauldrons and let's stir up some history. In 1612, in the rugged, misty landscapes of Lancashire, England, something extraordinary and slightly spooky was brewing. This wasn't your average witch hunt. Oh no. This was the infamous Pendle Witch Trials where a dozen locals faced accusations of witchcraft, leading to one of the most notorious witch trials in British history. Picture this. King James I is on the throne, obsessed with all things witchy. He's written a book, Daemonology, which is basically a how-to guide for identifying and prosecuting witches. Meanwhile, in Pendle, two families, the Demdikes and the Chaddoxes, are at loggerheads. They're like the Montagues and Capulets, but with more alleged sorcery and fewer love stories. The tale begins with an altercation involving one Elizan device, a member of the Demdike clan. Elizan allegedly curses a peddler, John Law, causing him to suffer a stroke. In today's world, we'd call it a coincidence. Back then, it was primetime witchcraft. Elizan's subsequent guilt-ridden confession sets the ball rolling. The local magistrate, Roger Nowell, jumps on the bandwagon and soon family members and neighbors are accused of witchcraft, including the 80-year-old matriarch, Elizabeth Southerns, aka Old Demdike. Talk about family drama. As the trials progress, the testimonies get wilder. We've got tales of demonic familiars, nocturnal gatherings, and even a plot to blow up Lancaster Castle. It's like a 17th century episode of Game of Thrones, but with less CGI and more paranoia. The Star Witness. Nine-year-old Janet Device, Alizon's sister. Imagine a courtroom drama where a child's testimony seals the fate of the accused. Janet's dramatic accusations against her own family members add an extra layer of intrigue to the proceedings. Let's just say Thanksgiving dinners at the Device household were probably awkward after that. The trial culminates with 10 people hanged on the moors above Lancaster. A grim ending to a tale wrapped in superstition and fear, the Pendle Witch Trials not only highlight the hysteria of the times, but also the power of fear-mongering and the dangers of unchecked authority. Now let's take a moment to step into the shoes, or rather the shackled feet of the accused as they trudged up to the gallows. Picture the scene. A bleak moor, the air thick with anticipation and the somber murmur of the crowd. For the accused, this was no leisurely stroll but a march towards a grim and uncertain fate. As they ascended the hill, each step was laden not just with the weight of their chains but with the heavy realization of the superstition-fueled frenzy that had brought them here. There was no dramatic soundtrack, no slow motion effect, just the stark reality of a final walk under the watchful eyes of an anxious public. Some might have clung to hope or muttered silent prayers, while others perhaps embraced their fate with a defiant glare. It was a moment that blurred the lines between fear, bravery, and the surreal notion that one's life could end over whispered accusations of witchery. A chilling reminder that in the world of witch trials, reality was often stranger and more terrifying than fiction. But let's add a pinch of humor to this cauldron of chaos. Imagine being accused of witchcraft for having a bad hair day or because your cat looked at someone the wrong way. Your Honor, I swear it was just a hairball, not a hex. Fast forward to today and the legacy of the Pendle Witches lives on. They've become somewhat of a cultural phenomenon, inspiring books, plays, and even a walking trail. It's like the 17th century version of a true crime podcast, complete with guided tours and souvenir shops. So there you have it, folks. A tale of fear, intrigue, and a dash of the supernatural, the Pendle Witch Trials serve as a chilling reminder of our human capacity for hysteria and injustice, all wrapped up in a spooky historical packet but let's not end on a somber note. Instead, let's remember the Pendle Witches for their unexpected contribution to folklore and popular culture. Who knew a bunch of alleged witches from the 17th century could become unwitting celebrities centuries later? 
If you enjoyed this eerie excursion into the past, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Nerd by Nature for more deep dives into history's most fascinating and bizarre moments. Have any other historical mysteries you're itching to explore? Drop a comment below and who knows you, our suggestion might just be our next wild ride through history. Until next time, keep your cauldrons bubbling and your history nerdy.